Yeah. Right where you aimed it. Perfect. Right? Literally right in the face. Good ball, Blair. You can hear the compression when he hits it, yeah. man, and just... <laughs> Gabe, what do you have in? I got 112 in, taking that little easy gap wedge. Pins in the back. Ooh, El Tigre. They get stubby down the back? No, the back. Uh, change route. Oh, a little reroute stop, that's nice. Oof. It's a squirter out to the right. Be in the grass. And probably a relatively easy chip. Okay, I have a hundred hundred yards. Get in the back, I'm into the wind. I'm gonna hit a gap wedge and kinda just hit a flighted flighted shot, choke down a little bit. Struggle bus. Gabriel is pin high. Plenty of green to work with. Pretty basic chip shot. Both of us hit some very. Yeah, this slide's pretty gnarly though. Is it? Oh yeah, I guess you can't even see it. Both of us hit some very errant wedge shots. Well, he's got a putt at it. Let's see if he can continue his scrambling ways. Okay, good chip. Oh, yeah, Give him no. that. Oh, nice chip. I felt like I was going to make that, but it was looking so part. good to like the last four inches. I know, right? It just kind of snapped off. Can you just clean that up, please? You got it. Tricky putt here. We're still not sure where it direction it goes but he's playing it inside or right. Oh another good read and a punt. <laughs> I tell you what man I hey, and it was falling that way wasn't it? It was. If I was a if I'm an, an MTI fan I would sure love watching you get up and down from all over the planet today. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty freaking awesome. Oh. Sounded cool. Yeah, full draw. T box. Ooh. <laughs> so you're saying, you said you said two hundred to the pin. Done. Yeah. So this pin is tucked yeah. in the front right, and there's nothing but hazard to the right. So it's really easy to bail left. But I'm gonna do my best. To really actually just go for this thing. I'm just gonna go a lot of up and downs. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. keep sticking with the up and down trend. It's like more entertaining than game putting. Oh, all of my par. Just kind of stick. Just a really creative player. Yeah. Oh. Ah, stay right. right. It's kind of. It'll be just fine though. Just didn't cut it all the way. Gabe is 35, 40 yards left. All the way over here. It's very doable though, especially the way he's going at it today. Yeah, it'll funnel down left to right. It's one of those shots where you can even land it short of the green if you wanted to, but you could also land it within 10 feet depending on how much spin you put on it. Looks like he's kind of on some harp and he could get some spin on this thing. Go! 
They sound a little chubby. Oh. Well. Up and down streak's gonna get a little harder. It is. But you can chip that in, eh? Yeah, in order to keep his up and down streak alive, he's gonna have to make this. It'd be pretty rad if he did. Let's see if he can hold it out. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, that's well done. Short game, I guess, doesn't leave you when you play golf once a year. Okay, Blair at about 15 yards here, 12 yards. All right, tap in for par. Thanks. Save bogey. Inside right. Never a doubt. A 400 yard par four. Water left. Hazard right. Into the wind. Gabe's going with the three wood. Oh, it's pure. Rushed. Right down the middle. Man, you hear the sound of that thing? What kind of three wood you got there, Gabe? This is a um, V Pro limited edition compression channel. <laughs> compression channel. Nike. Might have been the first to do something like that. That's pure. Blair with the driver. Probably only hit driver on this hole because there's not really much of a need, but crush it. I've been wanting to hit, this, hit the driver. Put this in the back of the stance a little bit, hit a little lower. Ah, down the right, this would be just fine though. Ah, my balance is not very bueno. Gabe, right. what do you got? 75 and it's easy six. All right. Is that okay? It's perfect. Oh. Top Ooh. of the face clinker. Get up, Get up hard. Oh, Whoa. friendly bounce up there. Yeah. Probably front fringe. I got 127 here into the wind. I got a pitching wedge. My stock pitching wedge, if I'm not swinging too hard, usually goes 135. So I'm gonna play just under a full shot. I hope the wind slows it down a little. Right, but it's pin high. It looks like it's about 10 feet. Gabe's got about a 20 yard pitch here. Oh, oh sauce my goss. Just to a nice kick in again. It's fun to watch. There's got about 16 and 7 inches. Do it. Oh, oh that hurt. Nice. I need to make a dang birdie today. Getting robbed. Hole 18 is a par 5. It's very narrow, so you don't hit driver. Oh boy. Wait. Wait. Ooh, it's going to be close, but it might be squirting with the, ooh, with the hazard right. Unfortunately, Gabe hit his hybrid into the hazard here, so he's hitting his third shot. 
par five is gonna try to make a professional par. Yeah, that'll play. Good swing. And in case you guys are wondering, Gabe is wearing all black and I am wearing all black. We did not coordinate this. We are not me and my golf. <laughs> but it does happen, it seems, through the years all the time where we end up with the same color coordination. Kyle has been playing very well today. He is. With that swing, you can see why. Look at that. Everyone likes it. He's been striping it all day with that long fluid swing. Uh, it was just grace. You know, you're looking at a dove coming in for landing. Was that a dove right there? After a meal. I'm talking about Kyle's swing. Oh. <laughs> Kyle's swing is a dove? Yeah. Aw. Hey, Kyle. Your swing is a dove. That's a dove? Yeah. Aww. A graceful dove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's partially it. Okay. I'm just going to lay up with a forearm. Might be a little more aggressive than I need. But today I want to, like, try to hit a... Hit shots, work the ball a little bit, so I'm gonna hit this a little low. A low squeezy cut would be pretty rad. Choke down a little. Oh, and it didn't cut. I might be in the bunker out there, or just fine. Okay, Blair has about 128 to the pin, into the wind. What do you got, Blair? I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Gonna, gonna hit it up eight. a little bit. Got a little bit of a lip to worry about. Pins back. Yeah, back, but this will guarantee me to not go in the water if I catch it coming in. Clean contact, oh, right at the cut. pin, a little left. It's a good shot, Blair. Thank you. Yeah, pin high, very nice. Gabriel with the same yardage, what are you going to hit? Pitching wedge? Uh, I got yeah. It's a lot of wind when you guys are into the wind and you got a short iron like a nine iron or a pitching wedge try to take the other the extra club because if you take the shorter club even if it's a the yardage is under your stock wedge shot it could spin up and rise up and fall straight down and then spin back so that's a good swing right there it's going in the same line as mine looks like it's gonna be pin high yeah a little bit past pin high, but that's a beauty. Just want to smidge long. He's got about 20 feet here. I'm here about pin high, maybe 13 feet. Pretty solid out of the bunker. I'll take that. He's choosing the putter off of this. The fringes are a little dicey, but since he's going downhill, stay in the air longer anyway. Oh, shadow. Get up there. It's just gonna be quick, I feel like. It is pretty fast. At the end, it's gonna really be quick. It's recording. Holy moly. Stay up. Yes, yes. I made a putt. Nice putt. Even with the gunshot in the background. Yeah, they oh, hold the birdie. That was a was birdie. That? Good birdie. Your first Thank one you. of the day. Yeah. Right? Final two ready? holes. The infamous hole eight out here at Woods Valley. We had to skip a couple holes to save daylight. Gabe's got a seven iron. He's hit two greens, or three greens today. Oh, God. Uh, he doesn't seem to like it. If the wind takes it, it could be good. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Green number four. <laughs> So As Gabe said earlier, some people were born to play a certain style of golf. Yeah. Gabe's is to just make dirty up and downs and hit the ball literally yeah. everywhere today. You know, find what it is, accept it, move on. That's right. That's a that's a great way to look at it, Gabriel. Okay. I'm gonna hit an eight iron here. Blair with a nice easy eight. Downwind, slightly downhill. Probably playing more like 167. Right at it, folks. It was very nice, not knuckly like ours. I think it's gonna be a good ball. Oh, oh go in. A little oh. short, but I think that's a good shot. Yeah. It's very nice outside. 
November, in my opinion, is the best time of year here in San Diego. It is constantly 73 degrees and sunny and when the sun starts going down you put on a sweater and it's very comfortable. We're both short. What looked to be closer from the tee box is just another 17, 18 footer. We've only made one of these today. I've had one bogey and one birdie. Gabe has had a triple bogey and a bogey, no birdies. Kyle's been teetering around a oh, one over, two over today. He's had a double and a bogey, but he's also put in a birdie on our last hole, so it's going along nicely. This will be a good time for Gabe to make one. Break and then hold his line. Break left to right and hold his line, or right to left and hold his line? Okay. Oh, a little too flame. Yeah, it was a good stroke, though. Good stroke. Nice. All right, Brer. Time for you to get the red numbers. Okay. Blair's a little bit lower on on the hole. I'm gonna break a little bit less. More uphill. Mine was a little more down. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm banking on the same thing for it to kind of straighten out at the end there. There's a, a pretty sizable ridge here in the first 10 feet. Should kick it left right away. I like that line. Oh, it just kept breaking. Yeah, yeah, broke a good amount. One day okay. I'll make putts. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've hit a lot of good putts today that are not Okay, going. a couple pars. Here we have Kia, the white dove. I was so sure that you were going to make that putt, that's why I decided to film you. Nice <laughs> the one. The white dove of North County. The white dove of North County <laughs> dropping another par putt. Final hole of the day. Formerly hole nine, now number 18. Oh, wait, no, this is number nine. This is formerly 18, now number nine. Sorry. All right, look at it, Gabe Burst. 528 yard final hole, par five. Hazard down the right. Oh, what a swing. <laughs> All day, Kale. Very nice. Oh, it's perfect. Right down the middle. Good one, Gabers. Money. Good ball. Damn. Kyle is going with the three wood. He's probably about two. He's driver. Two. Oh, driver out the dizzy. Oh, that sounded good. Oh is that perfect? Wow, going right towards the green from about 280. Kyle hits a R9 super deep, so I mean that's like unreal to hit that off the ground. Way to go, Kia. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how you can physically hit this off the deck. I don't know if you guys remember this uh, driver from circa 2008. You gotta pick it, just right. You, you can't pick something like that. <laughs> Uh, Gabe's got about 240 after a 290 yard drive. He's going to hit his uh, three wood. And it's a hook towards the dirt to the left. He's gonna have to really scramble for this birdie to finish off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got 207. Good drive. Got a five iron here. Should be 
pretty spot. That sounded good there. Alright, it looks like it's on the green about 30, 25 feet or so. Gabriel is going to hit out of the pine straw here. Okay, you guys, Gabriel right here. Represent oh. movement towards improvement. Here we are. We got some big wood chips here. I wouldn't call it pine straw, but Blair is not as <laughs> Did I say so. pine straw? <laughs> okay, so Blair, could, could you just come around here for a sec, please? Now, the biggest thing is if I hit this heavy, and a little behind. It's almost like a bunker. I'm going to flub it. It's going to come up short. So there's three main things you can do to make sure you have pretty good contact. Okay. First thing is we're going to get our weight left. We're going to open up our shoulders. That puts our sternum a little bit forward. We're going to level out our shoulders as well so our left is not as high. And then from there, you got to hit and hope. <laughs> Oh, that looks great. Go, go, About go. Five, and five feet. That's so good. If you've seen this guy getting up and down all day, take his advice. Still got it. <laughs> okay, Blair's got about 30 feet here. It's going to be uphill, swing right to left at the end, maybe come back down at the end or not. I'm not sure. But uh, big thing is just pick a good line, get good pace. Okay, slow down. Oh. And that, wow. and that, my friends, I guess that that's gonna be a dicey that's one. I do think it's gonna break. Do I do. I think you have to play outside the hole. Gabe's got this first first birdie of the day on the last hole. He's grinding, hitting it off the wood chips. Making putts all day. I'm gonna play this a little higher and let it fall in a little more. No! I think I misread it. Did you pull it? I don't know. He doesn't even know anymore. I don't care. You know, it was a good, good, good shot from the pine truck. That's why Blair will never be a caddy. Just cost me the tour championship. Alright, I'm gonna play less. I've been overeating them all day, just about. Hey. Good pot, Blair. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Back here at our old stomping grounds, it was always great to play. Special thanks to Woods Valley. If you're ever in the area, North County, San Diego, cruise on up to Valley Center. Come play this course. It's a hidden gem. Uh, not too expensive to play. In relatively good shape. And Gabe, it was fun watching you get up and down all day. Uh, no birdies, but nonetheless, you made a lot of putts, had a lot of good short game shots, and it was a, it was a pleasure to watch. So anyways, guys, enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the video. And always remember to keep on grinding. <laughs> You're looking beautiful.